Welcome to the Me Middleton Show Shadow Work Series, which is a part of the C4 30 Day Challenge. C4 stands for Content Creators of Color Collective. For each day during the month of February, we will go over a shadow exercise topic to help us take a necessary look at the not so pleasant yet important side of ourselves that we have hidden in the shadows. No intro music because we're getting straight to it. Here we are with day 16, topic, baby step of mirror work. Mirror work is a spiritual technique that requires you to look at yourself fully in the mirror. Different people express their methods of what to do in the mirror. Some would say for you to say positive affirmations to your reflection. Others will tell you to light a white candle and stare at your reflection with the candle in front of you. And others will tell you to look at the full head-to-toe reflection of yourself in your birthday suit, bucket naked. Those are just way too deep for now. Here's what we're going to do. Go into a private space, close your door, where you won't be disturbed. Make sure all the kids are put to sleep, the, the maid is away or at work or whatever. You won't be disturbed. Cut your phone off, whatever. You can use a hand mirror or a full mirror or a vanity mirror. Sit down. Please have a way to jot down notes. Pencil, paper, your your phone, notepad, whatever. And look at yourself in the mirror. Answer these questions. What are you thinking? Write them down. What are you feeling? Write those down. What's your immediate reaction when you looked at a part of your body? Which part was it? Write those down. What are you rejecting, avoiding, or denying to look at? Write it down. One more question. Do you find it difficult to come up with content ideas for your podcast? Or perhaps you've gotten stuck doing an interview with a guest or you just have nothing to ask anymore. Try Poddex today. Poddex is the best all-in-one podcast idea generation tool. You get everything from episode ideas to interesting conversation starters for interviews, engaging discussions for your live streams, and even social media content ideas. With this tool, you don't have to spend weeks trying to come up with content for an episode or unique questions for your guests. Just shuffle the cards and pick one at random. Hit the record button and get started. Now, you can make better content, have more fun while you're at it, and get your viral moment all with Poddex. Head over to poddex.com. And use code C4C. So here I am looking at myself in the mirror. And for now, I'm just looking at my face. And what are you thinking? I think I should not have cut my hair. Um, But it'll grow back, so no worries there. I also think that my right eye or my right side of my face might be slumping. That might be a health issue. I might need a little look at it. I am thinking I can't wait to get my teeth fixed. I am thinking, you know, I really do have a pretty face. And I probably would have a prettier smile if I just show it more. Yeah, it is kind of pretty. And I will embrace my natural gap. I like my gap. The gap is cool. I am thinking 
There's a whole story about this hair on my chin that I will not get into right now because it's going to cause me to get into a negative space and cuss a particular somebody out. I'm not doing that now. Which leads to what are you feeling? I feel like my face is too fat. I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm not aging. <laughs> I feel happy. I feel, I do feel incomplete. Like there are things that need to happen on my face. Like maybe what my face feels like at my zenith or at the top of my game. I don't know. I think there's a different face for a person who who claims themselves to be at their zenith versus a person who's climbing up there. There seems to be a different face, I think. Or at least that's what I've witnessed. That's what I feel when I look at my face. Um, what's your immediate reaction when you look at a part of your body? My immediate reaction is laser hair removal. <laughs> this is the first thing that comes to my mind. My immediate reaction is, oh my God, this has to end because I think about a particular story behind these hairs and it's going to get me upset and I don't want to get upset. So laser hair removal. Other thing that comes to my mind is uh, LASIK eye surgery. <laughs> It's a bunch of lasers coming to my face for some reason. <laughs> um, new teeth. Just new teeth. A whole new grill. Well, I can be happy to say that my teeth don't look nowhere near as bad as some of the grills I've seen out here. Good God Almighty. However, a whole new grill. My reaction to my nose is like pride. I have a cute nose. Ooh, it's cute. Um, my reaction to this floating eye I got going on. Please stay together. That's my reaction. Please just stop moving. Stay there. Just don't move. Um, which body part was it? Oh yeah, I named all of that. Right? those down okay I'm just talking about it what are you rejecting avoiding or denying to look at well I'm not rejecting rejecting avoiding or denying it I just happen to have access to a mirror that only shows my face up um, when I get to a full body mirror then we can go through to there so until then nope body parts, right? I think there will probably be a whole lot more to talk about if I looked at my the rest of my body. Um, for example, my wings on my arm. This is not just regular little flippy flabber wings. I have vulture wings and can't fly. Um, or eagle wings and can't fly. We're going to say vulture. Although, unless we're talking about that pretty vulture like the one Oshun turns into. Um, I have the type of boobs that give you back pain. Yes, my breast gives me back pain. Um, and I mean, everything else I think I'm just fine with. And I think that's because of previous work, years of work on looking at my body and accepting what I'm looking at. Everything else, it is what it is. And I love it. Mirror work is a powerful method of coming face to face with all that we avoid, reject, and deny within. Society assisted with convincing us that if we don't look like gorgeous models or somebody's Barbie doll or Ken doll, then we're not good enough. I was taught to have that new body, 
You must love every part of your body, the entire body, every small inch of it. Society cannot enforce you to follow their whack job ideologies. That shit will drive you crazy. Take a day or a week or a month or however long it'll take you to love every part of you. When you show love to your body, it'll love you back. Was it that fun? Did you learn anything? Did this episode stir up any questions, comments, or concerns? Send them over to nemiddleton at gmail.com or leave a message on our website at www.helpbyevina.com and I'll be more than happy to respond. Check out our bonus content by becoming a patron. There are four different patron tiers to choose from. This is to help upgrade our equipment. So, don't miss out on exclusive episodes and wonderful rewards for your patronage. If you're on Spotify, Podbean, Google Podcast, Amazon, or any other favorite podcasting platform, make sure you like The Me Middleton Show and leave a comment. Tell us how much you love the show, what you don't like about it, how we can improve, and how we can be challenged. If you're listening to The Me Middleton Show on YouTube, make sure you comment, like, click on the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be the first to get the newest episode. And remember, proper prior planning perfectly promotes persistent productivity and proud, pristine performances. Now, get out there and perform. Until next time.